I'm going to teach you how to draw 3D cubes using some isometric dot paper. I'm going to get this. There we go. Using some isometric dot paper. So, first of all, you need your paper sight sitting portrait. And starting up near the top, I'm going to start off showing you the basic way to draw a cube. So, a little way down from your paper, join up two dots going vertically. And then you're going to move up to a dot there and up to a dot here. So you've made a Y. You can see that. And now all you simply need to do is from the top of this Y come down and from the top of this side of the Y come down and then join these up. So you've basically got two diamonds that look like an open book. And if you see here, we can just join the top of this up and the top of this up and we have a cube. So you start with the Y, make a diamond here, a diamond here, and a diamond at the top. Now, looking pretty cool, it's looking like a cube, but to make it even cooler, we're going to give it a bit of shadow. So if we've got the sunlight coming down from the top here, then the top would be white, because that's where most of the light's falling. This side would be a light grey, and then this side would be a darker grey. And now we've got a really cool, really 3D looking cube. Have a bit of a practice, move over a little bit, and practice drawing some cubes really neatly. Try and stay up around the top of the page because we're going to use the bottom of the page for other things. Okay, remember to keep the top light, shade in the right hand side nice and light, and the left hand side you can go a bit darker. Stay inside the lines, we want these to look neat. Now as usual, I'm rushing while I'm doing this, so hmm, two cubes, let's do that again. So pick a line, draw straight down. From the top, come up to the dot to make a Y up to this side to make a Y. Come down to one dot and down to this side, here's our first diamond. Down to here and down to here, here's our second diamond. And you can kind of see where that third diamond is going to go at the top there. So from there to there and there to there. There's our next cube. Lightly shade in, try and make your shading nice and tidy. And then this one, we're going to make a little bit darker. And you can build up your tone as you go. Okay, so I've drawn three cubes. That's really cool. Okay, so what I want you to do with your, a partner is grab four cubes between you. And what I want you to do is work out how many different ways can you put these together. Well, there's one way. I can line them up this way. And if I was going to draw that, then I would draw one cube. Now, my next cube would go back here. So here's my first cube. Now, I'm not going to draw through here because that's the front of this cube. So here's my next cube. And my next cube would go along, so I'm going to add another diamond. And one, two, three, four. Add my next diamond. So there's my four cubes in a row. And of course now, so they're sitting like this. So I'm looking now, it's a bit hard for you, but I'm looking at it like, let me just bring that down a little bit. My camera's a bit wobbly. So... Oops, it's probably going to spring back up. I'm just checking that it's still going. So if I have it here, you can see that this is looking a little bit like this. Front of my cube, and you can kind of see the Y there, and then back up here. So now what I do, this side.
let's stack them. Can you draw them stacked up? So I would start at the top cube because that's where my Y is. Can you see my Y there? There's the Y. So let's start at the top here. And I'm going to try and save my paper. So I'm starting up here. Oops. Here's my top cube. Draw the next one down. So here's my diamonds. Stack on those diamonds. One, two, three, one more. All right, so that's pretty simple, but is that the only design I can do? What about if I move this one down here? Could you draw that one? Hmm. What I want you to do is work out how many different ways you can organize these cubes. Lots of different ways that you can organize these cubes and then draw them as many different ways with, with your partner. So you each make up a, a design, then draw it. And let's see how many of these you can make up. And I want them all nicely shaded. Try and work close so you're not wasting the page. I want, to get, I want you to get them all on the page. And uh, working carefully. Have fun with this, guys.